Hi, I'm Teresa. I make Chinese calligraphy learning fun, easy, and relaxing. I helped over fifteen hundred participants in over five hundred calligraphy workshops to learn Chinese calligraphy from scratch with no previous Chinese knowledge necessary. Here are some pictures、uh, I took during some of the workshops. Anyway, so how to appreciate Chinese calligraphy is a big question that everybody asks in the very beginning. Here is an example of the top three,、uh, the most famous Chinese calligraphy piece of works, the one of one of the most celebrated calligrapher and a、uh, huge scholar of all time, Su Dongpo. These characters, how how do we what do we make of it? It doesn't really mean anything to if you don't know Chinese per se. But on the page, perhaps you can observe already. Uh, these big contrasts, big blobs, and short, small, thin lines is a contrast. Big characters and small characters is a contrast, and、um, wavy lines and blo blotchy lines. The gray, gray, the ink itself, if it's.、Um, A lot of ink, or dry a little bit dry. If it's wet or dry, or if it's very dark or light, all these contrasts that we can observe is the first aspect we can see in Chinese、uh, to appreciate Chinese calligraphy is the visual aspect. This visual, visual. If it's aesthetically balanced, if it's interesting, that's the visual aspect. Another aspect is the content itself, the poetry, the prose. Uh, the message of this literature does that match with the calligraphy, the emotions that we can observe from just looking at the graphics. But anyway, if you're not understanding Chinese, not of Chinese descent, or have no previous Chinese、um, knowledge, you're still able to appreciate it just in the first aspect, the aesthetics. Okay, so what is considered good or bad? Well, if you look into history, you will see every calligrapher has their own style, has a personal, special character, personality. This is what I believe in. Also, what I want to、um, tell, what I want to promote is that it just like your face. Everyone has a beautiful face. Everybody can be beautiful. Everybody has their own beauty. It's a matter of If you're healthy and you're clean, you are very beautiful. Okay, it's not how tall your eyes,、uh, how big your eyes are, or how tall your nose is. It's not that. Okay, so the beauty, the aesthetics in Chinese calligraphy, is not in if this looks good or how, how a specific shape. It's not in that, but something deeper. So we need to really learn.、Uh, How to identify a healthy stroke or a healthy piece of work or clean piece of work? Okay. So anyway, next then、um, I would like to also give you a little bit of idea of different script styles in Chinese calligraphy. This is an overview of Chinese calligraphy. So for every one single character, there are five different ways. To write it, these script styles are developed over time. Okay, from the very beginning, the seal script style, seal script style on the left hand side. Okay, you can see the beginning and end of each stroke is very round, rounded. This is the same character, by the way. And the second script style developed in the Han Dynasty is the clerical script style. Now we have more variation in terms of stroke width. Okay, the first style, seal script style, is all the same, uniform in terms of stroke width, right? It's、uh, the same width, no thickness, no thicker or no thinner lines. It's the same because these ter characters, this first script style is written, not really written with a brush pen, but it's written with a、uh, carved in with very sharp utensil. Okay, so if it's like a knife or a sharp something sharp, it's 
the same thickness. Okay, no, not like a brush. You can press down and then the line becomes thicker. Not like that. Okay, in the seal script style, it's the same witness. Uh, with in the second script style, the clerical by this time brush had been invented, so we have this thickness in a variation in terms of thickness, right? The thicker lines and thinner lines, and there is a very special line, the horizontal line, uh, that characterizes the second script style. And then the third script style is the standard script style. This is what we we are used to looking at right now as a modern day uh in the you know modern era Chinese person you can understand this character this is what we use. And then the running and cursive script style, though, they develop alongside as a commoner's writing, okay, like a colloquial speaking style. We have an official language and a more colloquial, you know, the handwritten, the more casual script style rather than official text. Okay, this is just a very brief overview, so you have an idea. We'll get into each script style in deeper and more in depth. Uh, later on, if you are interested in taking a, a series of seminar just on that topic, but anyway, let's go on to um, start starting the first technique. Round stroke, okay, round stroke. Okay, here you notice that when we take the brush and then we want to make a horizontal line going from left to right, we need to hide the tip, okay? Typically we hide the tip. And this is how we do it. We write in the opposite direction. We expand the uh, the tip of the, the brush and then we lift upward and then we flip to make a rounded, beginning and then we end at the same in the same way okay go straight and then we lift forward until the tip is standing on paper upright and then we lift to make a round ending now we can try to write one character with this um seal script style technique okay the same uniform stroke okay the horizontal first and then come to the other side the left hand side come around twisting the thumb a little bit and then come to the right pushing the thumb to make the turn like pulling the wheel okay you can try this again on your water mark oh, sorry water writing cloth okay Okay. All right. So this is a, just a little bit of taste of how to do seal script style, the first, the very most ancient script style. And then moving on, here is a clerical script style, the second script style. Here, remember I told I talked about the horizontal line. The horizontal line is a signature. A line that you can find in the clerical script style. If you looking at this, if you're looking at any piece of work and then you see this horizontal line that ends with a tip that points upward, just like a kind of like a goose tail. <laughs> so this special line has a special name. It's a silkworm's head and goose tail's end. With an end that looks like a going upward like a goose tail, you're probably looking at a clerical script style, okay? And the silkworm head is kind of bowed, bowed down a little bit. It's kind of soft looking. And so this horizontal line is with the head bowed down a little bit, and then the end going upward like a goose tail, the bottom of a goose, right? <laughs> okay. So anyway, here is a little taste of how to practice, how to identify different script styles. Today, we very short time. We we just did um, C 
seal script style, and then also we uh, talked about the feature of some clerical script style with the silkworms head and goose tails end.